I didn't have to grow up in Las Vegas. I worry so much about my kids. I have Dayton going to college and I don't know, like, I need him, I need to have him wherever we're at for college. And like, I'm sitting here like this and I'm going, I've gotta be applying for a college, but where? Because we have no idea where we're gonna land. I need him to be close for a while to get him through that transition. And this is freaking me out. Hi friends, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, September 4th, 2024. The Brown family, Cody and Robin, have put their house on the market and there are rumors swirling about what this means for the family. Yesterday, In Touch published an article saying that Cody and Robin have drifted apart and a split between them is inevitable. They stated that it seemed like Robin had placed the home on the market because she wanted to leave Cody. Some of you in my comments basically said, hey, that is not true. Someone that's on TikTok viewed the house and left some comments in a Facebook group of Reality T-Squad, who is another YouTuber. And I don't believe this person that left the comments is any way affiliated with Reality T-Squad. She just happens to be in the group, all right? And this woman was saying to check out this other creator named Akira, who has a relatively like largest TikTok with around 90,000 followers. Her YouTube is very small. And Akira had posted a video on her YouTube that hasn't had a ton of views of her going to Flagstaff. Their video doesn't include any information about viewing the house. However, Comments were sent to me by this person, which basically outlined their experience looking at the home and details they claim the real estate agent provided to them. Now, the public listing is free for anyone to schedule an appointment if they are an interested buyer. It appears that they are vetting buyers to ensure that those that are viewing the house are actually considering buying versus people that are going to the house as lurkers. You know what I mean? Like, according to this person that viewed it, they had to be vetted in order to see the house. However, they're also documenting it for their Akira's channel. So I'll share with you what was sent to me. And this information, you can do with it what you will. I won't say for sure that this is what the Browns plans are, because I do know that sometimes real estate agents will share information that may or may not be true in an effort to try to motivate potential buyers that they need to buy now because time is of the essence. I wanna just remind people that unless you're actually going to be looking at this property for the purpose of purchasing, do not do this unless you're actually looking to be a buyer. This is what the person said. Okay, so much information to give. I have hit the pinnacle of my sister wife's career. I will never ever achieve more glory than I did the other day. I pulled off something masterful and even surprised myself. I have been to Brown Town. I went to Coyote Pass. The mini bikes are there. Same trailers, van, etc. I saw in March. Nothing else seemed different or moved. When I got to the McMansion, they were still home. I saw Saul right away. Boy, has he grown since I last saw him on TV. We parked on the street to allow the family to load up to leave. I took them, it took them about 10 minutes. Aurora drove off first in a small SUV, then Brianna in a small SUV, then Rob, Robin, Saul, and Ari with Cody driving. Akira Nicholson joined me. Check out her YouTube and TikTok for footage. She did more of the picture taking. I was working other things. Then the listing realtor pulled my realtor aside to verify I had been vetted and okay to tour the house. I am. I said, well, obviously the home is occupied. Could you tell me why they're moving? She said they are buying a larger home closer to the city and closing October 12th. So she claims that she's looking to buy a rental or an investment property in Flagstaff and then says that she asked the realtor why they were moving 
and they said they had bought another property, they're under contract, and it's closer to Flagstaff. I don't know if this is true. Again, realtors can say a lot of things. I don't know why they would need a larger home, and a larger home would also mean more money, which I don't know how Cody and Robin would have the capital to buy a larger home, but that's just me. Again, this is what she continued. She said, I said, well, obvious. She said, you walk down the driveway to a path of stone pavers to the front door. The walkway is lined by teapots. The walkway is lined by teapots on sticks. The door lock, the door looks as unimpressive in person as on the show. The secondary front door is a door out the master closet. I find the whole thing weird, but wonder if code required it as another exit. The house was very clean. Well done, Nanny. You walk in, greeted in the hallway by a large purple amethyst crystal on the floor, value two to five thousand dollars. There is a coat closet closet to the right, packed with coats. Robin has the same purple dress coat I do from Kohl's. I will be burning mine later. The entrance and kitchen have tile floors. The rest of the house, minus the stairs, are wood flooring. The kitchen smelled faintly of pine needles, the wood floors are worn and scratched like crazy. The vitamins are all in a cabinet at the end of the kitchen with glass doors. You can see them in the listing photos. They built the pantry cabinets. It was lovely, usually just shelves on the wall. Freezer and fridge, standard size in there. She refrigerates oil. I opened the sub fridges full to the brim. Tons of takeout, Cafe Rio, fat olives, salsa brava is a favorite. In and out leftovers, lots of frozen con Costco fare, pizza rolls, corn dogs, chicken nuggets. The wine fridge is also filled with mostly Cafe Rio leftovers. Apparently, the owner of the house is real proud that when the power went out one Thanksgiving, that the generator supplied them with enough power to still cook Thanksgiving dinner. The living room is big and the media niche, it was original with the house, is just as strange in person. There is an odd-shaped closet in the master suite that contains all of the cables that go through the wall to the media niche. The title next to the media niche still has no grout. I think she maybe said the tile. Apparently, the contractor just disappeared on them. Then, I was informed they struggle to get trades, contractors, and the housekeeper to come out, especially there in winter. The plan with the tile was to put a wood-burning stove there because the fireplace is fake. They built in the desk in the living room, which I highly question why one would build a desk on the side of the living room, Cody's office. We went on the balcony and the term deferred maintenance was used a lot to describe the railing on the deck. I was cautioned against leaning on the rail. This was a good caution. Broken wood beams, missing wood. I don't know if woodpeckers or air got to them, both. The balcony contains four rocking chairs and no sister wives included. The master suite has an entrance, entrance from the balcony. The room looks more purple in person than in photos. I think they color corrected the photos on the listing. The purple was electric looking. It was bright. I asked if they were Donny Osmond fans. The only furniture I could tell came from when they bought it. It was bought furnished was the love seat that is white with a bright purple cover on it. The bedroom, the all of the furniture that remains in the living room is what they had when the home was purchased. So that sofa set was there when they purchased the home, to say that. There are pictures, signs, figurines all over the house about couples and love. You'd think a 15-year-old girl lived in that room. I was surprised to learn the master suite has a laundry room in it. I liked it, had stackable washer and dryer, countertop, and tons of boxes of stuff. Bathroom looks just like in pictures, kind of nice. The water closet had no fan, but the Browns have potpourri by every toilet. We were informed recently there had been a leak from the master shower down to the house and there is mold. But don't worry, they are fixing it. Yeah, the same people who can't get trades to fix stuff. So it sounds like the house is on the market and part of the deck is broken. And then they also have mold in the shower down the walls. Anyone that buys this house could go through an inspection, and if things like that that are not safe aren't up to code, a buyer can have them either reduce the price so that it can get fixed, or they have to have it fixed before the sale of the home. I can't imagine someone spending $1.6 million on a house where a deck railing that's on the second story is broken and be okay with it. That's just my 
what I'm thinking of. And then if there's actual mold in the house, that's a big problem. There was an amethyst crystal in the shower. By, a, by the way, a total of seven crystals were spotted. Robin's right side of the closet has three levels and the top level can pull down for access. Many clothes still have tags. She had hat boxes stacked to the ceiling, a Louis Vuitton bag, and Cody's clothes were there to the left. The encased dead butterflies from their first wedding they had are hanging in the closet. Ari's room is at the front of the house next to the master. She's the only one upstairs. She has a bathroom that it looks like she ate the walls in. Her closet was full. All of the girls have American Girl dolls. When you go downstairs, you are scared scared by a large painting, huge. By the way, the carpet is nasty on the stairs and it smelled faintly like a dog. The house had a dog door, but they don't have a dog. Aurora's room contains, well is pictured, closet full, the writing on the mirror are Bible verses, lots of stuff with crosses in there. Brianna and Saul have Jack and Jill bathrooms. Saul has thousands of dollars of Legos in it. Saul's closet was full, although the closet looked empty in the photographs. There is a laundry room downstairs, a linen closet with everything folded to perfection, however, no sets. I found it odd not to have any of the same kind of towel. The den was also as pictured, has a door to the deck below the balcony. There is a note for the deliveries that requires a signature to go to the front door because, yeah, you can't tell approaching where the front door is. The garage is not as empty as the photos. Lots of boxes labeled with name, names. Ari has a lot of books. Dayton has a lot of ornaments. ATVs were parked outside. Cody's car was in the garage. A small trailer was too. The turf, the tables, and the RV gave the yard a strange feel, like I was in a motel in a small town. I was told to not look in the RV as the son lives there and they thought that he was home. I was also informed I could possibly buy it. It looked a little rough. There were two trucks by the RV. There were also shipping containers or storage units. The two additional acres are not listed for sale, but you can convey if you buy the house. Plat maps always show the two acres beside the home, but it is in the front. You can buy the two acres for $244,000. The entire pro property is sloped, no signs of a watermelon garden. They have a fairy garden. I have nothing to say on that. Past utility cost, I will compare to the home, my home in Phoenix, which is similar in size. Mine is a little smaller and has a pool, and my house has living landscaping. Propane that heats the driveway floors in house costs them $5,000 a year. My, house, my gas for heat costs $80 a month. The electricity has no air conditioning, costs low $300 per month to $1,400 per month. Mine costs $380 a month. There was no venting for air either. They said they use window units but remove them for the showing. Sit down for the water. The property contains five gallon... 5,000 gallon cisterns. They have to deal with a guy and pay 600 a haul. They get water once or occasionally twice a month. I pay 90 to 110 a month for water. I didn't get trash services number, sorry. The owners point out that they work from home, so your utility cost could be less. The house has an air filtration system. My house has a built-in sprinkler fire system. I was surprised I was surprised that a house in the pines had nothing of the kind. The craftsman wood in the windows and doors are beautiful. I have a theory now that they were that they stopped filming in the house with the crews because the crew and large equipment were damaging the house. Forget the best part. I was told by the real, realtor I thought house was overpriced by 20%. He thought 10 to 12. He said seller is not going to negotiate because it just was listed. He is famous and thinks he's hot stuff. Dying. Also, apparently the neighbors are very tight and have each other's backs. I'm looking for an investment property up there, so I might come back in a few weeks. And then in the comments, she basically said that she decided not to buy the house. So there's a lot to take in there. Um, it sounds like there's definitely some issues with the house, including with the balcony and mold in the house. And it sounds like they have a lot of stuff. Robin has a lot of clothes. The kids have a lot of stuff. She also thinks that Brianna's room being very empty, she thinks Brianna might live out of the house, but I don't think that's true. I think Brianna's, Brianna still lives at home. Um, but overwhelmingly, they went through the house and looked at everything. My only question here is if they are buying another home in Flagstaff, it seems weird because Cody has complained about how expensive it is. But it also sounds like living in that house is extremely expensive because $600 for water a month just to have it brought in is so expensive. Now, I understand in, in Flagstaff, uh, not a lot of the houses have air conditioning because it is 
a temperate climate in the summer. It doesn't get super hot and then it cools off a lot at night. So it's not really needed, but about, I don't know, a large percentage of homes in Flagstaff don't have AC. So that's not unusual. And it's not unusual also to have a cistern for water to be hauled because of the fact that it's dry in that area, even though it's in the mountains, but there's not a lot of water in the ground. But the price just for maintenance on that house sounds astronomical. Propane to heat the driveway costs $5,000 a year. For some people, that's like how much they pay in taxes. That's expensive. So the home was built as an investment property, and maybe it's just very expensive to keep up, and that's why they're selling. But if they're going to move closer in, they're going to spend a lot more money which then would make me wonder where they would get that money for, given that they've lost a lot of income with the other wives leaving and money has been tight. My only thing is maybe Cody's moving and they are buying a larger home to keep Robin satisfied so that she doesn't leave him, maybe. Or the real estate agent is lying and making them think that time is of the essence. It seems odd that they would put an offer in on a home before they have their other house sold, given his history of credit issues and money problems. He also owes a lot of people money. So that also makes me question whether or not them buying a larger home in Flagstaff is true, as well as McKelty has said numerous times how Cody complains about how expensive Flagstaff is. So it makes me question if he actually is really buying a larger home in Flagstaff or if he is just saying that again to get buyers motivated to purchase. Like everything must go. You, you better buy fast. It, the home is going to be available soon. You know, you know what I mean? There's a lot of inventory on the market right now in Flagstaff and it's very expensive for what the damage to the home is. I don't know. Other houses that are on the market that are equal look a lot nicer with, than what they have. And the house needs a bit of updating and work. So like I said, don't go trying this at home. The blogger that did this was apparently looking for real estate herself and decided not to buy it. But if you are a viewer of Sister Wives and in the area, don't make a habit of doing something like this if you're not seriously interested in buying the home. Otherwise, it might cut off, come off a little bit creepy. I'm just saying. So what are your thoughts? Do you think Cody is selling the house and buying a bigger mansion for Robin so she doesn't leave? Or do you think they are on the verge of splitting and he's doing this to try to keep her from leaving? Or do you think that's just a lie to the seller, the seller's giving to the buyers to try to motivate them to purchase the home? You decide. Either the agent is lying or the tabloids are lying. And Cody and Robin are no to lie. So they could be lying to try to drum up interest in the show. What are your thoughts? Make sure to give this, make sure to leave them down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and click the bell so you never miss a video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.